Hi everyone and welcome back. So now we are going to write Next.js side of story. I mean we will create our module inside domain or we can just do it outside. Uh, so here we can call it as a search. We already have everything set up like uh, our database is there. We have set up the Postgres container. Now we just need to work on uh, this search module which we are going to write for Postgres sorry for the elastic search okay and we are going to use this config module okay config module I mean uh, there are different ways to populate the data inside uh, process dot environment variable right you can use a dot env you can use and different things uh, what I think is in this video I will use a different approach we will use this config module which also validate the types you are specifying okay so I will just import this config module and so this config module is coming from Next.js why oh, it is complaining so config module validation schema and what we are doing is inside this config module you can specify your connection url and all these things that connection url should be of type a uh, string so you can actually add a validation criteria here that's the advantage of using a config module provided by nsjs here you can say that uh, this is of type string and that is this is of type required so until unless you don't pass it you don't put this in the environment variable your application will not start I think so this is the connection URL and then we have another thing is let's say port port is also of type number joy dot number we'll add the required dependencies for this and we have one more dependency added which is on the uh, elastic search node okay so we'll say elastic node is also okay so once we introduce this we need to have a dot env i think we already have it there we need to have a connection url it is a database url no dnv we'll just change the names here and uh, we can also have a node env that should be of type string and let's say it is required this is of type number and this is also required because we need uh, elastic search while bootstrapping the application so we have configured everything right now we have defined the types and everything no dnv a database url elastic node we can add in dot env Elastic node in dot env which will be http localhost 92200 9200 so this is the elastic node and our port is simply let's call it as a 3000 on this we are running the process okay now we will we already have defined a module that we are going to use a search module in search now the important thing is we have to import some particular module nest.js elastic search let's go to the terminal and inside terminal we just uh, put a command nest.js elastic search that command we have and now search module will have will use this elastic search module or the config module to populate everything okay so what we will write here is we need config module elastic search module from there and we will do the dynamic initialization which we have done for the database also what we just need to do here is this is the module here we will define the imports all the dependencies in the imports we are dependent on the config module okay we might need to import this uh, install this config module if it is not there config module and now elastic search module dot register async we have to wait until this installation is done otherwise you will not get this register async method 
Okay, or uh, let me just copy this because this is already there on the GitHub of Elasticsearch. How we are configuring this? This is pretty much simple. And what we are doing here is here we don't need authentication. We just need the Elasticsearch node which we have. Okay, so just change the name to Elasticsearch node everywhere in the dot env and in our config module validation schema. This is our search module. Okay, what we are doing is we are using config module provided by Next.js config and uh, we are passing config and we are getting the Elasticsearch node URL. This is how it will connect to that and it is using this Elasticsearch module. I think everything is fine now. We have installed this Next.js Elasticsearch. I think we also need to add the types for this. Now this module is created. Now this module will have a dependency on our main module. We'll just import it there or we can actually import this it in our domain module. Because domain module is going to consume the services. So here it is our domain module. In the domain module we'll add the dependency inside imports. Okay, I have a search module also which is going to do the elastic search thing for us. Okay, now next part of this is actually writing the code. So we already have a services and controller they are already created because this is this code is from the previous uh, demos. Now we already have the post controller and post search post controller is writing something to the database. So we will use the same code to write the data to the elastic search once you are done writing the data to the postgres now what we will do is we will write our service maybe elastic search service that will do the create index update index but i mean not create index i mean adding the record to the index deleting the record to the index and the search so here is our basic setup with uh, elastic search and nsjs and it is well uh, it is up and running Okay, what I what I did is we just need to add this join module and the Next.js config from the previous video and it is up and running. Now, what are the next thing we are going to target? Okay, so we did the we included this Elasticsearch module and uh, there's a search module we have created, right? So what the search module is doing is it is doing a, the dynamic uh, initialization of this module. We are passing the config service. Okay, what other options we can pass here? We can also pass like maximum retries and all. Uh, if we see what all arguments it is going to take, so we can actually say max retries, which is let's say, why oh, it's not typing. max retries is 10 okay request timeout all these options you can specify request timeout is let's say 60 seconds which is 60,000 milliseconds okay there are more arguments we can look into that okay now we are initializing uh, this module and once this module is initialized, we also need to have an index created in the Elasticsearch so that we can actually add a record, we can just collect all the records, add them in the bulk or we can actually hit the APIs and create the post in the Postgres and in the Elasticsearch. So once your application is up and running, like we need the database tables already created. Similarly, we need the index already created. So what we can do is we can have one service search service which we will do which we will create here search service dot ts there we will write some logic okay how we can actually create uh, the module create this uh, elastic search index on the module initialization and here this uh, nextjs module lifecycle methods will help you here we can actually implement this module in it and once this is added we have to implement a method which is on module in it okay and there we can specify that once this module is getting initialized we will be executing this on module in it 
okay and this on module in it will help us to create that uh, elastic search index so we will have a constructor inside constructor we are going to have that service elastic search service and we are already planning to create search service In that search service we will be writing a logic that will take care of creating the index okay so let's say this can be your async method or something like this this dot search service okay and then you will do create index and you can pass I mean you can just simply call this method and your search service will take care of creating the index and your module will not initialize until this thing is done okay i mean if this is returning a promise then you can just do a sync initialization let me just check this if i do a sync and just put await here this is the constructor we have okay so now what we will do is we will create our search service in our search service.ts and this is going to be okay let's keep add a public or protected method that is fine we'll add our search service here now what this service will actually do uh, we can import the the required things like a nest js injectable and a search service module it will be a simple class as always right so it will it will be a simple class and we are going to use the elastic search service inside it okay we are going to write a constructor and we will inject the service which is which we are getting from the elastic search module so private read only and our service is es service this is the module which we have and elastic search service we already imported and we can also use config service I mean you can put this config service also because we need to get the index name with the help of config service and we can get the config service from nest.js okay this is our constructor and here we will write a method okay let's say async create index okay so first of all we'll get the index name from config service so we have already injected this config service dot get and we will create uh, one variable which is elastic search index everywhere elastic this is how we can actually get the values at runtime because we have set everything here elastic search index also and this is of type string and required so you have to have this inside your dot env otherwise you will get an error so let's put this inside our dot env and index is posts and why we are doing this because before search we need to create an index and we are going to import the search service here everything is fine now we are calling the create index method create index will help us to create this elastic search index on the module initialization but first of all we have we also need to check if this index is already created or not i mean we can't just go ahead and just create it blindly so we have to call this es service and get all the existing index and all these things right so let's say const check index equal to await this dot es service we have elastic search service dot uh, we have to check what all methods it is providing indices dot exists oh yes there is a method and we can just pass the index name and we already have index imported so config service dot get elastic search index it will help us okay 
now here we can just check uh, check index dot status code because this is going to be a response if it is 404 that means the index doesn't exist and we can actually do the create okay this dot yes service dot uh, indices dot create so there is a method indices so it should be the params so okay it's a record which will contain the string and our body so inside this we will pass our index name the index name we can all we already have the index name right here so this is the index and this is my body and inside body you can actually provide your whole json schema right now what is a schema here i think we created a json file somewhere that talks about schema so this is the schema we decided for this uh, this is a whole json object right okay so this is our create index method right now once the index is created you can do a lot of things like you can actually uh, do the bulk insert based on the data predefined data you already have right so but for now we are good with this create index so with the module initialization it is going to call this service a uh, search service and it is going to call the create service method sorry create index method and that will take care of this okay we have to add this uh, search service in our module so while initialization in the providers we have to do this so this is the import statement okay now things are uh, pretty much simple now what we will do is now we will write a post method and we will write a search method post method will create a data in the postgres and also post the data so there is already a method in the elastic search dot indices dot elastic search dot search and when you wanted to propagate the data when you wanted to create the data th there are different ways to do it you can actually use elastic search dot bulk right and you pass the the index and the body so the signature will always be same for all the methods uh, the index in which you want to take the action like update delete create and your body in which you will specify the whole json object okay uh, let's see that 